not joking. You know what's going to be a good show when, I mean, I do this every weekday of my life. I woke up excited about this segment. It's become the number one unscripted series in the country across all streaming platforms. Season two of The Traitors has everyone talking right now, including our staff. And we're excited to be joined by two of, I'm not just saying this because they're guests, two of the best contestants. Give it up for our friend Janelle and Bergie, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back, to our Thank you. Okay. This is, this is how much I'm obsessed. The producers usually give me cards. I don't need the cards. I just <laughs> love it. Um, I know this answer from you. So, Bergie, because I don't really know you, I'll start with you. You, what made you say yes to this, to this show? And did you have to think about it for a while? Oh, I didn't even have to think about it. Yeah. Uh, I never watched Traders, but I just got done filming Love Island. I was still in Fiji. And one of the producers came up and they was like, hey, we have someone that wants to talk to you. And I was like, they said, hey, we have another show for you. I think it'll show a different side of you. You have to be strategic. You're not kissing girls anymore on TV. I was like, <laughs> heck yes, I am in. And I feel like people are seeing my strategic side and I'm absolutely enjoying it. Number two, how dare you speak to Janelle that way in the round table? I'm just <laughs> I was trying to save her. I was trying to save her. I loved you. I watched last night, I took a screen grab of the show and I'm like, I'm like, look at this. And Jeff re replied back, queen, queen to you. Okay, what were your expectations going into this, going into Traders? Oh, I mean, I just wanted to play the game. I'm such a fan. I loved season one. So I expected to see some pretty big players when I arrived at the castle in Scotland. And I did, I mean, there was housewives there, there was professional boxers, like this was quite the cast. Bergie, who surprised you? Um, speaking of that, yes. when you are in the, you guys are in the, the, the uh, pacer vehicles or the jump, the, the vehicles heading to the castle, who surprised you that got out of one of the vehicles that was in the cast? Okay, it's definitely gonna be Peter from The Bachelor. But <laughs> really? Yeah, because like he was one of the only people I recognized. There was obviously Deontay Wilder. Like it took me a minute, then I recognized him. And then Janelle, I was in the same vehicle as her, and she's like, "Yeah, I'm a reality TV star from Minnesota." I was like, "You are?" <laughs> and I was like, and then we just, got, and then we just started talking like Grand Rapids, and yes. we just had an alliance from there. Okay. I have so many, I told Jeff, can we just do a two hour special? Because I'm so, <laughs> now spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Now a lot of our, if you're watching us from other <laughs> cities, you sometimes get our show a day later. So spoiler alert, but we got to talk about what just happened. So I'm giving you your chance to turn the volume down. Okay, there, I paused long enough. <laughs> How pissed were you? <laughs> um, you know, I really wasn't that mad. I was just like, oh my goodness. I, you know, a lot of the contestants weren't really believing me on who was a traitor, but Bergie believed me, Peter believed me, Trishel believed me. Did I, you really believe her? Cause I gave you crap a little while for talking, yeah. but you know what I mean. He was trying to save oh, me. I was you were, I she wasn't you pissed, I was pissed. He was yeah. mad at Dan, he was trying to save me. Yeah. Cause if you miss it, I'm trying to dance around it. Somebody went home. <laughs> yeah. and, and I was livid and yeah. I could see your face. I know you a little bit. I'm watching your face. I'm like, oh, she's real mad. You are real, <laughs> real mad. But were you surprised though? I really wasn't. I mean, I think people have a perception of you when you do these shows so many times. So they were always kind of looking at the people that had done competition reality TV rather than like a housewife. So my name was always kind of floating out there. So I wasn't that shocked. Yeah. Bergie, who surprised you the most as far as being better than you than your initial re, uh, your initial impression, like day one, and then be, like maybe day four, you're like, oh, this person is way better than I thought they would be. Definitely Peter from The Bachelor. Me too. Yes. <laughs> and then there's also myself because I didn't. I thought I'd be fumbling around. You are really good. Yes, you I thought I'd really be fumbling good. around. Yeah. And I was like, oh gosh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> you are really yeah. good, and I didn't know a lot about you, but I was like, Peter surprised me, and you, I was like. Bergie knows what Bergie knows what's happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. Next question. Uh, are you guys really sleeping in the castle? Um, we have to, you know, for TV purposes. Yes, we have. Yeah. Okay. Yep. We have <laughs> yeah, there's, there's knights in shining armor guarding our bedrooms to make sure we don't go find the traitors. Like they're like just right outside our door. Okay. Leo, take five. <laughs> Leo, take camera five. Anyway, go back to camera six. Um, when you guys are just wandering around the castle, you both know the ins and outs of yes. reality TV and the camera crews. 
I thought about this last night. Do you watch where the crews are heading? Like, meaning, like, when, uh, uh, when they were trying to get the chalice out of the library. You, if, if you don't watch the show, you are really wondering, what am I talking about? <laughs> yeah. But, hello, um, I would be like, okay, there are camera crews in the library. If I were the other contestants, I would go over there. Do you watch for stuff like that when you're playing? Yes, I did. So I was always I knew you would. Yeah, so I was always trader hunting, and I was like, if we're talking in a group and there's no cameras here, we're for sure in a room of faithfuls because there would be cameras on it. The show is about the traders. Yeah. So where there was cameras, I was always chasing them down. Like, okay, who's in this room now? So I always kind of honed in on Parvati and Dan pretty early on for that. Did you have a strategy going into it? I did. I felt like I could be this young, naive kid. Like nobody knows who I am. Like I just got <laughs> off Love Island and just sit around and people would be like, what's he doing? And I'd be like, I don't know what's going on. And then they wouldn't murder me because I, I don't know what's going on. And nobody would banish me because I don't know what's going on. That was kind of my strategy. Were you guys, because now you're watching it and, and I'm sure you knew through production, but as we're discovering it, were you both surprised who the traders are? The Phaedra, that absolutely. That would be a spoiler. Yeah. We, well, everyone, yeah. I've said spoiler alert. Everyone yeah. knows. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It could be a spoiler for future episodes. Yeah. Too. So That's we, good. Okay. So current current traders. Yeah. yeah like, yes. like, like, oh, like, I get what yeah, you mean. So I we can talk mean. on the episodes that have aired. That's so right. Okay. For us, we had always thought Dan in poverty, but like mm -hmm. him and I never at that point had talked about Phaedra. No, we never. Or her name about was floated up, but we were absolutely like, no, it's not Phaedra. <laughs> she plays a really good game. Yes. Mm -hmm. A really good game. That's right. With episodes that. Um, from what you know, with episodes coming up, mm -hmm. um, are we going to be real surprised? Are, are, do, what, how do you think? Describe the back half of the, if you could describe the back half of episodes, how I mean, would you describe it? I feel like there's been a lot of chaos going a lot of different directions. Okay. And I think people are going to start honing in on where the chaos is coming from. The faithful, yeah. And it. I think yeah. the faithfuls are a lot stronger than people realize. And they're working together really closely right now. And I love your reaction to the new woman that that they dropped in. What's her name? <laughs> Kate. Kate. Kate, your faces. Because again, I know you a little bit. Yeah. Every time they would do a reaction shot to you, you're like, oh God. I, know. I, mean, like, yeah, I yeah. was like, can you come after this, please? I'm trying to save my life. I know. Like I was <laughs> dying. Okay, we're going to take a break. We're not going anywhere. Janelle and uh, Bergie are sticking around. More with them right after the break. Oh, God. Bergie, we ran the clip earlier. We were just laughing the commercial break. You not being able to be untied from the thing. <laughs> what were you thinking in that moment? Bergie was the last one to get untied in the first challenge. I had a very experienced fisherman that knew how to tie knots, and he <laughs> tied me good. Really? Yeah, I think Janelle got a lucky fisherman. He didn't know what he was I doing. Because you were first. <laughs> yeah. well, I, and I kept saying, oh, these are too tight. I can't feel my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing. And then Alan just watching you be tied up and go, very good, Bergie. Yeah. yeah. We asked you this because everyone's loving Alan as a host. I mean, I think he should host. Is he is, this is such a generic question, but I'm asking for the audience. Please tell me he's as nice in just production as yeah. he is on camera. Absolutely. 100%. He's just a wonderful person and so fun to work with. Was he? Yeah. Okay, next. I'm going through. There's Alan right there in his outfits. <laughs> I could just, everything he wears, I absolutely love. Okay, both of you, talk to me about one of the, one of the plot lines coming through this is the CBS reality show team versus the Housewives and Bravo. What was that like? Mm. What, did it just keep growing the divide? It did because the housewives weren't le necessarily leaving the castle. And so it's a numbers game when you're playing these games on strategy. So, you know, I was in the Gamers Alliance, Bergie's kind of in the middle, but Bergie and I had like our faithful alliance too. So we were really in the middle of that mm -hmm. and choosing which side, which day we wanted to be on. Cause there it was definitely poverty versus, you know, Phaedra a little bit. What is that castle like? Gorgeous, I can't even describe it like, you know, you have chess outside, we can play croquet. You have the deer statues. I'm like, am I, I'm the king of the castle. I get yeah. to walk around and do whatever I want. Yeah. Uh, for you, both of you, you did Love Island, US, you've done, was this, I would imagine this was a lot of work, 
but a hell of a lot of fun to shoot. Am I right on that? Yeah, it was a blast. I mean, such a beautiful property walking the yeah. grounds. It's n it's like nothing I'd ever seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like production just tr treated us so well. I mean, again, you time. hopped right from Love Island to <laughs> this. What <Yeah>. a <laughs> switch. What? And I just graduated college. It was like, what an experience of a <laughs> yeah, lifetime. Oh my God. Okay, we often do, no matter what, uh, no matter who's here, we do usually a game of first impressions. So we're gonna do that with Janelle and Bergie. I'm gonna list. Uh, a cast member of yours from Trader Season 2 and just tell me the first thing that comes to your mind, your, your impression of them, or just something that pops. Okay, here we go. Dan. Dangerous. Quiet. Quiet, da dangerous. Mm -hmm. You know him well. I know Dan really well. Like, we're friends. Yeah, still friends? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Phaedra. Um, <laughs> Jeff claps for Phaedra. How about just icon, like iconic Queen Southern Belle? Bergie? First thing that came to my mind was Bergalicious. <laughs> Did she give you that name? Oh, uh, no. I, my Instagram handle was Bergalicious first, but then Bergalicious was what she stuck with the whole she, time. The way she says it, too, is so <laughs> funny. Not Fa my baby. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bachelor Peter. Um, Just a nice guy. Like, really? So nice. Like, he really is just so pleasant to everyone and just like the nicest guy he's easy to get to know yeah and i say like i think strategy something like quick he's, he's gonna try to make something out of nothing yeah kevin idiot um. <laughs> <laughs> I, God, I just i couldn't love you more um berg you want to follow that one no 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 kevin okay. i love you <laughs> god i love you uh par yeah Parv? Parv. Parv, yeah. Um, sneaky. I was going to say the exact sneaky. same one. Sneaky. She's sneaky. So yeah. sneaky. And then the eyes, too. Yeah, she's, they she's call her sneaky. the Black Widow, right? Yeah, she's a Black Widow Brigade. Yep. Yeah, guys, I'm telling you, you have to, if you're not on the train, get on the train, watch it. I watched episode one, I was like, uh. Episode two, hook and mouth, I was done. I was like a big gay sea bass. Anyway, <laughs> Janelle and Bergie, everybody. The Traders oh is now gosh. streaming on Peacock. New episodes uh, drop Thursday nights. Give it up for our friends, everybody. <laughs> when we come back, Meredith Vieira next. Thank you, guys.